what's going on guys this is me Ron. today we are going to create a login form in bb.net using sql server database and visual studio 2022 so let's start it first of all open visual studio and then click on create new project and then select the windows form application bb visual basic and then click next and give the project name and then click next click create uh, this will take some time to render the visual studio because this is a bulky ide now after rendering the ide uh, from the view menu click view and then uh, show your toolbox i already did that so here is from the toolbox drag and drop some control we need two buttons and then one checkbox and then two labels and then two text box and then one picture box also now select your form and from the property of your form change the text is login form and you can also change the background color from the back color property i'm going to choose all right this one now arrange our controls so that it looks nice in the screen you can increase and decrease the size of his control like this one and select the text box and from the property of the text box change the variable name is txt user and the second one is txt pass and checkbox when you click this checkbox after executing your program uh, the password will display uh, if you did not uh, click that checkbox the password will hide so for that we use checkbox here checkbox and checkbox take stage show password and select your password text box and from the property here choose use system password so that it hides in a nice way to true and select your labels and text username and here goes password you can also increase the font size from font property here I will use two bell you can also change the color from the four color here these now do similar for your button also change the button size so that it looks good in the screen on the screen see and see I'll cancel button and this is login button you can also change the button color from here from back color here i'm going to use the green one for this and 
for this the red one change the text color also there you're gonna select that picture box and choose your picture i'm going to choose from documents and size zoom on there you go we finish our uh, designing part now uh, open up sql server if you don't have sql server you can download it from microsoft outside and connect right click over database new database and database name login form okay expand that database directory right click over your recently created uh, database expand the database also and right click over table new table here goes user name data type bear care another column name password bear care control s give the table name login form okay now expand that table directory also right click click edit talk to 100 rows here we are going to save some username and password you should not use this simple plain text in your uh, real project i am using this only for the demonstration purpose close that it will automatically save now go back to visual studio go to solution server explorer right click over data connection aid connection and uh, server name click that refresh it will display your server name now use trust server certificate uh, choose your database login form click ok now we are going to write our code uh, double click that login button and scroll above and at the top we need to import some uh, system directory before that right click over your solution explorer go to manage nugget package manager and browse your system dot data dot sql client and install that apply i accept now here imports system dot data dot sql clients and inside the clicking event of that button we are going to write our code dim connection is new sql connection and here goes your connection string select your uh, server data connection from the property here copy that connection string and paste here deem query is a string is equal to select count asterisk means count all from the table that is affected by our where clauses select count asterisk from our table name that is login form form where username is equal to at the rate username and password is equal to at the rate we are going to use the 
parameters of this in here that's how we did it there is in here now team command is sql command here goes our query and then connection we need to write new here now cmd dot parameters we are going to substitute our parameters add with value and here goes add the it username comma txt user dot text cmd dot parameters dot add with value here goes add password txt pass dot text now we are going to define one variable that's about executing query teaser deem count is integer is equal to convert dot to int thirty sixty four cmd dot execute scalar because we need a uh, integer value to check uh, whether our username and password is matched with the username and password that we save in our database for that we need a zero or one true or false value now if count is greater than zero if count is greater than zero that means if the user enter username and password match with the or found in the our database then what we are going to do is then message box dot so login successful information message box button dot ok message box icon dot information else else message box dot so login error you can also write this extra uh, information i am not going to write that save that and go back to design also we are going to uh, write the code for showing the password double click and here txt pass dot use system character is equal to not checkbox one dot checked save it now go back to design and double click that cancel button and here me dot close save it run now enter username and password that is not saved in your database see this all uh, a nice way of hiding your password click that so our password is display click login error message should display but we get some error here we got some error because trusted server because here is some space in trust server save it and execute again now type username and password that is not saved in your database so login ops 
we forget to open our connection here so you stop your program again and here after con creating your connection you need to open your connection so connection dot open and here connection dot close save it execute it login login user now enter the username and password that is save in your database login. logins there you go click cancel this form need to be closed so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these uh, latest uh, tutorials and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day Bye-bye.